The growing demand for electric vehicles and the batteries that power them has countries looking to secure supplies of lithium and other key minerals. The U.S. and the EU are seeking to reduce their dependence on China in this area, and so the South Korean government and private sector are working together to take the lead in the race to secure the country's place in the EV battery supply chain. Lee Dae-hyun reports. Rechargeable batteries, or secondary batteries, are essential for electric vehicles. And to produce them, minerals like lithium are needed. South Korea is putting more effort into becoming a front-runner in the global race to secure important elements used in EV production. As part of these efforts, the country's steel-making giant POSCO Holdings built a lithium mining plant in Salar de Ombre Muerto, located at an altitude of 4,000 meters in Argentina's Salta province. This is just the beginning for POSCO Group to strengthen our secondary battery material business and a milestone for the 100-year-old corporation's future goals. And even the technology required to extract materials from used secondary batteries has been developed in Korea, too. Smelting reduction technology can recover over 90 percent of lithium and 95 percent of nickel and cobalt out of used batteries. We aim to contribute to the development of a resource circular economy. There is also a company that has developed technology that can make the process of producing secondary batteries more than 85 percent efficient in terms of power used during manufacturing. This major electric energy transition technology brings high efficiency by minimizing losses. But there are rising concerns, too, as Washington recently announced rules that include giving EV buyers a tax break for cars with batteries made with minerals mined or processed in the U.S. or country and regions with free trade agreements in place. Because South Korea heavily relies on China for battery materials, the government and the industry plan to establish a one-team strategy to overcome what's seen as a crisis for the industry. As countries like the U.S. and those in the EU are seeing the secondary battery industry as a means of economic security, the government and the private sector should cooperate strategically to expand the market. Specifically, the plans include battery makers and the government cooperating on the whole process from excavating and smelting to supply minerals. By working together, the government aims to increase South Korea's global market share to 40 percent in 2030, becoming world leaders in the market. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.